Alright, so welcome everybody to episode... What episode is this? This is episode 8, in fact, of Spore. So we're going to have them eat because they are starving. They're going to nom nom on some crunchy eggs. Which are bigger than people's heads. I mean, look at that. It looks like a, they're eating a plate. Okay. So once we... So actually, we're going to destroy the pink village because they're a problem. So there's one village that we don't know about yet, and that gets revealed when we get here. And you can tell this is EA and Maxis because it has the... The sim. Th I forgot what that's. I, I used to know what that was called. I don't really remember anymore. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these two guys and I'm gonna quickly build something, which is stone axes. Are brutally effective against wild creatures and tribe members, but are less useful against. Oh, actually no. The the uh, flaming torches are used to. Okay, so these are good against tribe members. So we're going to take four of our guys and have them get stone axes. Okay. Alright, so to the pink village we go. We bring... T Don't worry, pink village, we bring tidings of joy to Chieftain Johnnyette. Oh, Jeanetteley. Jan yeah, Chieftain Jeanetteley. Quite a, quite a masculine name you got there. Our friends march over. Here we are. We come to destroy you! Attack! Attack! Okay, we've lost one, but so have they. Attack them all. Go for them, Spears. I don't care if wild animals are coming to steal my food, I will win this battle. Okay, so we've only lost... I'm gonna say two because this guy's about to die, whoever he is. Throw him, Spears, go! These guys got a spice geyser right next to it. That's got to smell really good. I mean, I don't know what spice it is, but if it's something like paprika, it's got to smell really good. So there's only two people left. Kill Spearman Hente. Good. Now destroy their, their thingy. Yeah, yeah, their thingy, because that's totally what it is. It's the thingy. And one time I remember I had it when it was here because after you get past um, after you get past the the second mark you get to have twelve people in your tribe and they all had flame, uh, flaming torches and they made this bar here where you see the orange part how much they destroyed in like the last three seconds they made the whole thing orange all at once like it never it never um, stopped being orange that's how quickly they destroyed it like you can see they're doing the same thing now but only for a third. The last of the pink village goes down. Yeah, I can't screech like that. Because, you know, I live in a house with other people. And they might get the wrong idea. Okay. Hooray! A third totem piece. Oh, we can. Actually, we'll watch the upgrade video this time instead of skipping. Oh, hey! And we get more advanced tile work. Oh, and a stone fireplace. Actually, that's a brick fireplace. Yes. Look at this. Okay, we need food. Gathering canes. Alright. Well, I know what we're gonna come and do. Gather! Actually, we're gonna have everyone come here and heal, and then kill this baby white Yoshi. 
Who's stealing my food? He's stealing my eggs and turning them into meat. <laughs> oh, oh man. That guy hit him right in the head with that huge stone axe. That poor, that poor child. Okay, why don't, why don't you, um, do some gathering. We need to make more children. Okay, so the Lavender Village is very angry at us. Don't know why. I'm gonna take the chief. After we get some food, and I'm gonna bring... Oh, the Green Village is offering us a gift, and I'm I'm gonna be strange and re-gift this back to the to the. We're gonna try to gift it to the Cyan Village to see if we can get them to like us. Ah, oh, shut up. Oh, here comes the, the flying flowering gift. Definitely. Okay. I want you to give. Where's the chieftain? Bring gifts to the Cyan Village. Present the Cyan Village with gifts to improve your relations. Then attempt to ally them. Oh, sure, because it's that easy. Well, they don't have any. Uh, they're not really a threat. They, they don't really have any flaming torches, fishing spears, and maracas. <laughs> Go, Chieftain Kylon. <laughs> okay, that was amazing. That that was amazing. Okay, um, all right, get get the tribe together. We have some work to do. And where did we get so much food from? We have some work to do. Do do do, ditchery do. Okay, one more. Oscaria. Okay. Put your food down. Hey, stop it. Mm, yeah. Um. So. And, oh, we can make two more children. <laughs> Egg just pops out under the door. Okay, so I'm actually very amazed that we were able to get the Cyan Village from being our sworn enemy for life to actually being ambivalent about our existence. Which is usually hard to do. Okay, so one, two, three... Four, you guys are gonna get wooden horns. Then we're gonna have the percussion section. And then we're gonna have the, the flutes. So we got the we, we have the flutes, we have the tubas, and we have the uh, drums in modern day. 
Because you know, no one has wood horns or didgeridoos anymore. Except for that Spongebob episode with the marching band. You know, that, the one where he, he makes the sundae out of the peanuts. Oh god. That was, that was gross. Okay, get your, get your didgeridoo. Grow up. Yeah. Tribe. It is our tribe of twelve that we will bring to the Cyan Village. Okay, I have no idea where their chieftain is. And I believe, yes, Lavender Village is twelve people. Oh, their their tribe is sleeping. <laughs> they left four awake to tend to the world, and they're now ambivalent about my existence. Take the walk up the coast. Whoa! Everyone decides to pop out of the tent. <laughs> okay, so. Wooden horns, maracas, and did you use the keys for this? Let me guess, wooden horns. Whoops, wrong one. Yay! Alright, this was actually a surprising victory for us. Now we don't need to see the, the whole thingy again. So we've unlocked torches and Cyan Village is now at one. So now it's actually been, I think, somewhere around 10 minutes. You know what? We're gonna come over here and we're going to give these guys a gift. Oh, we don't have any food to give them a gift. Okay. Well, then you know what? We'll just, just wait. No, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna come and gather some food to give them a gift. We'll give them a gift. See what happens in the next episode. Depending on what happens at the end of this episode, we are going to take action. I'm hoping it's a friendly action because we are now in industrious, and if we get to the top of the industrious, it'll be much harder to go down to aggressive. Here we come, marching in a line. <laughs> Moroccan. I'm pretty sure that means you're from Morocco. If, I, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> gather some food. Gather some... Oh. Who's being abducted where? Who's being abducted? Who is it? Where? I want to know who you are. Okay, fine. Stay in mystery. Oh. Oh, hey, it's it's Spaceball 1. Look, everyone, it's the mini form of Spaceball 1. Yeah, Spaceball 1. Oh, and um, if anyone likes um, Fallout New Vegas, uh, Fallout 3, let's see, uh, Skyrim mod spotlights, all, all those mod spotlights, then you should definitely check out. Um, Al Chest Breach, because he is funny, and I suggest that you check him out, or I will find you. Even if you don't like him, you still need to check him out. What? What is that? What is that? I have no idea what that they are carrying. Like pick like the grass or something? I've never seen that before in this game. Oh, here we come, marching up the coast. Okay, and here we come to bring good tidings. And it appears that we're going to probably be able to do this before the end of the video. And then next video we'll advance to the civilization stage. Who's got the gift? Nope, yep, Chieftain Kylon's got the gift. Oh, Chieftain Kylon, the best Chieftain we ever had. 
Come on, just put it down. What are you doing? Hey, they're ambivalent about our tribe's existence. Alright, time to rope them in with a high sales pitch. Whoops. So now we do this again, and then we win the game. Now we don't win the game. <laughs> and that would be great if we won the game just now, but no, we don't. Whew. Oh, man. Got to stop eating so many bad ones. Apparently, it's the Didgeridoo special. <laughs> Hooray! I think this is probably the most productive episode ever. Moroccan Ozvant. <laughs> Spearman Shoes. Oh god. Hooray! Oh, oh, time for a celebratory dance. Come on guys, get back before I have to end this. Let's go. Come on. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. And I, I want to find out what, where we are in the spectrum, but I can't, because if I click this will advance the civilization, I really want to end this on a high note with a Mexican dance of amazingness. I don't want your gifts, Green Village. We're all going to pool our resources and become a civilization who want money and buildings and vehicles that pollute the earth and create problems and we should have elected Al Gore president but no we want a dumb guy uh, I don't know I don't know why people voted for George Bush what you didn't even wait for anyone to get no what are you doing you didn't even wait for anyone to get back you greedy piece of crap oh well, I trusted you and you just whacked the Yoshi wow Go. Hey, they created a triangle. Geometry, hell. Oh, God. Okay. Let us advance. Ergonomically terrific. So we completed the tribal stage in less than an hour, and we managed to stay right in the middle. Okay, so. Founder, complete the tribal stage and build a city. Now we're getting all sorts of achievements. Alright, so. Um, next episode we're going to create a civilization. So, um, anyway, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.